friends, I'm Chi. Greetings to you all, whatever you may be listening. Wow, Senator Shell Sunny have asked African boys, <laughs> you and I, an important question. He said that why do African boys marry European grandmom than that of African grandmom? Like, why is it that we don't want to marry the African grandmom? We go there, we marry European grandmom. Wow. Now, let us help him answer this question and let this go viral. Share the video, like, and, you know, definitely subscribe. Thank you very much. Please, please, please share. Let it go viral. Write your comment as well. Now, before I answer his questions by giving him some reasons why African boys prefer European grandma than African grandmoms. <laughs> I will tell him something. And I also want to ask him some questions. That why do African politicians, eh? let me limit it to also Nigerian politicians, prefer to go for medical trips abroad <laughs> than, you know, uh, getting themselves, themselves treated in Nigeria eh? or in Africa. Okay? Okay, that's number one. And why do they prefer using foreign cars, like buying foreign cars, eh? all those expensive ones? Why do they prefer that one than the one that is locally made in Nigeria or Africa, assembled and coupled there? Why are they scared of those ones? Eh? Also, why do they prefer to buy properties abroad eh? than, you know, buying in Nigeria? Yes, or in Africa. Or building. Okay, why do they prefer to store their stolen wealth, like loot money? Or why do they prefer to keep their money in foreign banks than that of uh, the banks in Nigeria or Africa? <laughs> you are seeing how the question is now, right? Uh -huh. Then why do they, as well, the politicians in Africa, Nigeria, prefer to go with small girls, young, young girls? Eh? Why do they go? Why don't they move with girls of their age, eh? ladies of their age? Why do they prefer to have side chicks like small, small girls than older girls? <laughs> now you see, you see. Now let me now answer his questions for from from what I think or what I know. Why African boys will prefer European grandmom than African? Grandmom. Why not African grandmom? Okay, the reason is this. The European grandmom, hmm? yes, brings value eh, to the table. Things like, you know, benefits that you will obtain when you marry European grandmoms. <laughs> they don't care, you know. Now, let me tell you, you will get what they call, either you get green card, permanent residence in some places. Uh -huh, they call it permanent residence. Also green card in America. Also, <laughs> you are going to get what they call financial freedom, like job, 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 and definitely citizenship, money everywhere. Now, you see how your life will just change, transform. <laughs> you know, definitely every relationship is transactional. Yes, transactional. You know, everybody is looking for what to get from somebody. Yes, when you're dating, you're dating for a reason, right? That is transactional. Huh? So, when they prefer to marry European grandmom, this is what they know that they are going to get. Freedom at last. Freedom from poverty. They will no longer be poor. At least they are sure of that. Yes. Go and date African grandmom and tell me what you will get from there. Huh? They won't even marry you. They will tell you culture, tradition, and the rest of them. Even bring up taboo. <laughs> and, and, well, some of them have money, but the, the value is worthless. You know, the African currency is almost worthless. When you compare to the hard currency that the African, um, sorry, European grandmom will give to you. Ah, imagine those hard currency, cash, cash in dollars, in euro, eh? in pounds. Come on, see money, you change it, look at the exchange rate. Oh my lord, oh my lord. 1,000, I think Euro now is 1,400 and something. 60 or 50. Look at the exchange rate as of now I'm talking. It's very high. Talk more of the dollar. It's also high. So that is, that is exchange rate. Forex, Forex. You're going to get from European grandma. <laughs> Will African grandma give you that? Cash, kind of cash. When you convert your local Naira, 
eh? African grandmom give you 100,000, 1 million, you change it to dollar, it's almost worthless, you know. It's nothing, it's nothing. <laughs> so that is it. These are the benefits, you know. And they are escaping from poverty forever. In fact, that passport, the citizenship they will get means that their, their children, 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 children have escaped poverty from Africa because they will end up becoming citizens and they will make money and they will come and even help Africans themselves. Yes, come and invest back home. Eh? Come and, come and re repair Africa. That is it. That is future investment. So, so long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest time <laughs> will never end. So, so long as African boys will continue depositing their seed, <laughs> you know what I mean, <laughs> in the uh, uh, European grandmoms, <laughs> of course, definitely. They will bang now, so long as he is satisfying her, eh? then he will be getting something in return. Yes, 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 yes. So, they marry older ladies. Because the older ladies too need them. Yes, it's transactional here. After all, didn't the older ladies see older men, European older la uh, ladies, women, grandmoms? They saw older men like them. Why did they go for African boys? Because they feel they can do the job. They can handle them well. So it's transactional here. So you give them what they want, they give you what you want. But the African grandmom, <laughs> everything will be in, in secret, you'll be doing it, you know? If at all they, they, it, such things happen, most of them are poor. Most of them are poor. In fact, this African grandma, if they find a way to japa, they themselves will japa. I'm telling you, they will japa as well and go there and turn to European grandmoms too because they will marry one older man that will give them citizenship. Before you know it, they turn to European grandma. <laughs> you see that? You see how it works? Yes, it's not only the white women, also the blacks are also European grandma because they have japa as well. Yes, they said in two weeks in Nigeria, over 32,462 people applied for passport, fresh, fresh passport to japa from Nigeria. Yes, definitely. When they go abroad, don't you think they will, if they see even European grandma, whether black or white, they will jump in and marry her, sharp, sharp. Hallelujah. Poverty is over. Passport here, I, you know, citizenship is for them. Hmm? Job is waiting for them. Eh? Definitely. They will no longer be rubbing anointing oil, fasting and praying, speaking in tongues. No, 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 no. They are escaping from a country. They will prefer that European grandma. They will sleep well, eat well, think well like a human being. But staying back home means that You'll be hearing news like Boko Haram have killed 200 people. 200 people have been slaughtered in Maidogre, in Zamfara, in Kaduna, in Kaduna Expressway. Uh, they have bombed the train. They have kidnapped. Bandits have robbed jaws. Oh my lord. Bandits, Fulani bandits have, have slaughtered people in Benue, in Jos, in this place. These are the kind of news you'll be hearing. Scared of your life. You are traveling by the road, you are scared. Huh? Even if you are traveling with your African grandmom, you are scared because they could even kidnap you. Huh? But there, abroad, if you are moving with your European grandmom, you are safe. You know, you are, you are enjoying yourself. <laughs> so, well, you cannot tell a matured guy, an adult, who to date, who to marry. It is their decision. Eh? If they choose, to marry European grandmom and the Afri uh, European grandmom choose to marry them, they agree. It's, a, it's an agreement. Two shall agree. Eh? If two shall agree, it shall be done unto them. <laughs> Don't put a sonder in their marriages. You can't, you can't poison the mind of the African boys. You can't poison it because you politicians want to keep us back home so that you keep using us to rig elections. Yes, to come and brainwash us every four, four years. Eh? come and bring wash us to vote for you guys no let us japa eh you guys can do your uh, thing yourself leave boys to go away leave boys to go away and i hope you guys are not planning to do any law to 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 ban nigerian boys <laughs> or african boys from traveling <laughs> from traveling from leaving the country because they must japa the country is not good at all let me tell you 
But when you start fixing the country, fixing Africa, who will Japa now? Who will Japa? Nobody will Japa again. Things are working. Everything is working. When they see uh, Africa looking like, you know, the Western world, then you see most of them abroad, we start coming back. Yes. But for now, even those abroad are scared of coming back because they hear useless news. Every time you put the news, you hear Fulani bandits have killed these people, killed our people in hundreds, in twenties. How more? In a year, how many people will they buy? Kidnapping everywhere. Human part sellers everywhere. Ritualist guys everywhere. How more? Some kind of bad policemen too. Those bad eggs too among them. You're not safe when you jump them on the road. So why would they not jump her? So if European grandmom is the only option, then so be it. They will go there and marry them and become safe. Than to marry the African grandmom that will equally give them hell without shishi. You will still be suffering if you marry. If I, do people even marry African grandmom? When last did you hear something happen? How much do they have? Well, let, don't, go and marry African grandmom now. Let her grandchildren come and, come and deal with you and give you dukabanza. You, you think those boys, her grandchildren, even her own children, they will, they will round you, eh? When they give you that drum beat, you yourself, you will run. So that's why <laughs> nobody will near any African grandmom because the children will not tolerate it. You are entering their mother's vehicles. Huh? They are mother's vehicles where they were born from. You want to go and enjoy? Ah, let their children catch you. Um, uh, that is Africa. Don't dare. They have traditions. So that's why we, no boy, no African boy will do that. They don't dare. Eh? They don't dare. Even if they do it, it's in secret. And see, the money African grandma is giving is nothing. It's worthless. Even if she gives you her passport, eh? is the passport not worthless as well? What value does any, at least those... African passport have? Do they really have strong value? They don't have strong value. They don't even respect Nigerian passport abroad. In fact, if they see you with Nigerian passport, you are a suspect. Once you are traveling, they see you with Nigerian passport, you are a suspect. They have to scrutinize you, scan you very well, put you aside, question you very well, because that passport is already looking like a bandit passport. You are, you are already looking like a, a suspect. You know, bandits. <laughs> you know, they have to they have to search you because they don't know your mission. They want to know if you are carrying something. So the passport is like bad news unless the country start having value, start doing the right thing. If things are working, the system is working, institutions are working, then our passport will be respected. Our country will be good, and then our African grandmoms, yeah, we start having enough cash to entice the African boys to marry them. If possible, maybe if Africa is now great, you now see even these Asian boys or those poor Asian countries. You start seeing them coming to Africa or even Nigeria to come and marry our grandmoms because sometimes the grandmoms are lonely. Eh? They are lonely. Now, do you notice something? They talk about African grandmom. Do, does this not show you that they are trying to say that? Where are the husbands? They don't buy out of out of suffering, frustration. The men die in time, and the women are lonely, looking for who to marry them. Hmm? All right. So, uh, Senator Shew, Sani, uh, if you are feeling pity for the African grandma, you can also marry them because you guys are rich. You can go for the African grandma because they are almost you people's age. No difference. At least if they senior you, it's just fifteen years or twenty years. Don't you think so? So I think you guys should be dating them. Uh -huh. So that it will be the African men marrying African grandmoms, you know? The difference in the age should be just 20 years, 25 years, or 30. You see, it doesn't, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. So leave the young boys too to marry the European grandmoms because the difference too is the same too when you compare you people. If you guys, politicians, will be marrying the African grandmoms because you guys are rich, you can maintain them very well. It will match. It's a match. It's a match. What do you think, guys? All right. So that is it. So politicians, do better. Do better. Hmm? If you think it's a shame, it's something that is shameful, it's because you guys in power are not doing the right thing. You guys are not doing the right thing. When you guys start doing the right thing, then the youth will start doing the right thing. 
and the youth too. You guys are sometimes a problem. You guys allow these people to brainwash you eh, and dump you. Now you want to jabba. You want to now jabba after they have ruined your future. <laughs> they say we are the leaders of tomorrow. No way. They have used that word to deceive us a lot. We are no leader of tomorrow. They are always the ones leading. For donkey years, the same people, the same people, ever since you are growing, you have been hearing the same name, the same people, the same people. They, in fact, you are tired. You know? The same people, the same people. Eh? When, it, when, will, when will it be our turn? <laughs> eh? So that's it. Um, it's okay. It's okay. After all, you, you, the politicians, why do you prefer your children to go and school abroad than schooling in Nigeria? You see, the question is even much when you put it back on them. When you throw it back on them, you have, they, they can't even answer much. Eh? Why, why, why? Why do people prefer to be paid in dollars, in foreign currencies, than to be paid in Naira? Eh? Why do you prefer to fly foreign airlines than to fly any local airline made in Nigeria, <laughs> coupled in Nigeria? All right. Why do you prefer foreign clothes? Why do you prefer foreign phones, foreign things? So that's how African boys do prefer foreign women. Whether it's grandmom or grand um, or lady, matured woman in Europe or Western world, no problem. So long as they will get green card, job, and money. Money, 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 money. Money is good, man. Money is good. So allow them to make their money. After all, they are coming back to invest the money. Don't you think so? They will all come back and invest. And we are boosting the GDP. Boosting the economy of Nigeria, of Africa, by bringing the money home. So, what are you saying? What are you saying? If those grandmom, European grandmom, don't help the African boys, how would they survive there? So, I think we say thank you to the Western grandmoms, whether black or white, because they have really helped African boys to stabilize, to focus. Eh? Because coming out from Africa, man, you, 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 you first of all, look yourself was i really a human being then was i really living in that place was i really 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 living in that place was it really me when they come abroad they not transform when they not come back wow big boys big boys <laughs> it's all right it's all right so guys tell me your thoughts in the comment section okay mm-hmm all right, that was the reason. Nothing much. Please like, share, and subscribe, and share the video. Huh? Thank you very much. See you guys in my next video. I am Chi, ever yours, Julie. I'm out of here, man. I'm Chi. Ciao. Bye-bye.